Now, the rough weather could bring down numerous trees and power lines in our area. Crews in the area now working to get ahead of the storm. CBS News' John Diaz live in Mamaroneck with more on that part of this storm story. John? Yeah, well, Chris, good afternoon to you. And this is a storm that Con Edison knows could be a dangerous one. But they also know this is a storm that could lead many people without a power. And that is why they called in extra reinforcements today. Uh, about a thousand people from actually out of state, just in case some people do lose power. Well, let's give you a live look right here behind me. Crews out here, uh, they just had the ladder up cutting down uh, some trees over here in Mimaranek. And there's a lot of people, um, energy provider, they dispatched their in house emergency crews across Westchester County ahead of this storm. If you take a look at this video, though, you can paint a better picture. You can see them cutting down these branches of trees near power lines, including right here in Mimaranek, where we saw this team cutting down parts of a massive tree by the corner of Palmer and Delancey Avenues, right in front of some residential homes. Now, Arborist with the Con Ed with Con Edison uh, tell us that trimming dead, diseased, or dying trees reduces the chances that limbs will fall on overhead wires during a windstorm and resulting in these power outages, saying that constant tree maintenance is a need. And since 2018, they've been doing this more often. With the climate change and the intensity of the storms going on now that, you know, we're being proactive and ahead of time removing these hazards before they fall and damage the power lines. Now it's freezing cold, they're not losing power. So we're, we're doing the best that we can to prevent these things from happening. Now residents in the area, they are preparing as well. We caught up with a man who says that while he's been hoping he doesn't actually have to use it, he does have a generator on standby just in case. Take a listen. I have a portable generator at the back. If I lose power, I think my gas tank is full and I just put in the gas and plug in the portable generators to the house, then I, I'm good to go. And a live look back out here in Mamaroneck. Officials with Con Edison, they're recommending staying away, of course, from these down wires and report any service disruption. They're saying uh, to stay inside if you can this evening. And, of course, you can check up to date on all the latest developments over on their, uh, their website or their app as well. But for now, we are live this afternoon from Mamaroneck here in Westchester County. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you. Be sure to stay with CBS New York as we track this incoming rain. We'll have live updates throughout the afternoon and evening on our air and on our website at cbsnewyork.com and streaming on CBS News New York. And you can count on our weather team coverage tomorrow morning. We'll be starting at a special time, 4 a.m., a half hour early tomorrow morning to get you updated on what all is happening in the area.